Alright, let's do this. What's up everyone? Empowered Q's here, bringing you a little Empowered matchup. We are doing some Quid vs. Jax, one of my favorites. <laughs> I hate this matchup. It's so not fun, but that's cool. So, uh, when asking whether you go Corrupting Pot or Doran's Shield, this is one of the ones that I go Doran's Shield on, because he's just going to poke you over and over again. And do that. The problem is he has great engage over you. Um, so we're going to try to heal up a little bit. And stay healthy. Luckily he doesn't have Ignite, which makes it a little easier. So we're just going to try and get as much CS as we can. Uh, if we get some good jungle ganks, I think it could happen, but the other thing that's interesting about this that I want to go is I want to rush Titanic Hydra when you're behind. It's a great item to to get because it gives you lots of tanky stats and wave clear. So I've done it against like Darius and stuff like that. So just something to think about. So we're going to go Ninja Tabby into Titanic Hydra rush. After that, we can work on our Trinity Force and look to really get on this win and kill us. Um... So, like I said, just a couple tactics for if you're in a bad matchup or playing from behind. Oh my god. Lame. I'm pushing the tower, can't help. I pinged it like six times, buddy. Well, she didn't get the assist, so that's fine. That allowed me to safely get my CS. She has heal, which is weird, but that's cool. It's always going to let this slow push. Uh, I max Q. Wait for her movement speed to end. Yeah. There we go, she died. There we go. That's the cue to that matchup is waiting for her to waste that move. If it's wasted, then you can kill her. Wasn't honestly my intention to kill her, but I'll take it. Sweet. Nice. Yeah, if she ever does that kick, that's when you just jump in on all in her. This will get us enough for our team out, I think, too, which is nice. Unless I miss the damn cannon. Yes. And that's why we maxed Q first. You see how quickly my Q came back up? That was because I maxed it first. And I'm like 80 gold off. That sucks. I'm going to be greedy. Okay, I'll be fine now. Now I can back. Ooh! That's gonna reset. All right, so we're gonna get Tiamat first. It's gonna give us a lot of wave player. Could rush, rush Ninja Tabby here, but I honestly have a feeling this Quinn is not very good. The fact that he kicked into me like that, that's what that leads me to believe, so I'll take my chances. down a little bit of CS. Uh, gonna be down whichever ones die here. So about three CS probably. Maybe four. We see Shaco. Yeah. Four CS. Got the experience at least for that one. Like I said, once again waiting for her to kick in. So just slowly last hitting. Okay, Shaco's top side. Oh, I jumped to the minion. I hate everything. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy. Back up. Don't want to get hit by anything else. This is pushing into me, anyways. I want the ability to kill her in the long lane. Let me away. My six is uh, much more useful than hers too. Walk away. There 
go. Walk away. Nice. She'll probably kill her. Ah, oh, she had that back. But I have to flash. No! I thought I had it. Lame. That's okay. I'll get it back. Whoopsies! I missed time to, uh, for kick. That's cool. Gonna shove this in. Now what I want to do is start shoving and roaming. Now that I have the power of my level 6 and Tiamat, I can push really fast. See Shaco. Getting minion blocked all the way to lane. Now that that's in, we can walk this way. Scuttle crabs are I could take that. I'm pretty sure, sure Shaco got that, but Yeah. I get a deep ward here. The thing about uh fighting against invisible champions like Shaco, you actually want to spot out the camps. Because he doesn't really care about your wards. Can we get a gank, guys? It would be lovely. Okay. So same thing, we want to do the 1-2 attacks. 1, 2, and 3. So... Here, got the movement to us back up. Got the heal, pop my potions. Oh, nice, good shit. I'm just gonna stick by the Kha'Zix, just in case. That's why I stuck around. Quinn's alive, so I have to back, because she could just fly in. Covered you, my homie. I'm actually going to go for Emax second for those weird all-in trades there. I don't think I'm going to get that many Ws off, and the damage from that I don't think is going to make or break me. Like this, and I can upgrade my Corrupted Pot. Yeah, it was pretty obvious Shaker was going to come in for the all-in. Sweet. So only behind 16 CS and up a kill. I like it. I like it. Now, she should not have Flash or Ignite. So I definitely want to make a play here. And I have Boot 2. So that's going to really, really help against the damage. So once again, just going to clear wave. I'd rather not fight her if I don't have to, so... Oh shit, I have the wrong button. I'm used to... Yikes. Well, I'm gonna punish her for that, so she's gonna miss this wave. I wanna run over here. Get a little cheeky here. See if she comes this way. Nice. <laughs> Who teleported? Wow. Way to go, buddy. I got the extra CDR right now from blue buff, which is really, really nice. So it took a nice little chunk of damage off of her. Gotta be careful because they're diving bottom. Okay, I see Ryze so I can get aggressive again. So, one... Two. Walk away. Nice. Nice. Ready for See now now she's gotta play passively because she knows I'll just kill her. Walk away. Perfect. This 
whittle her down. She's probably back in. Push this real quick. Find her for the wave. Lack of attack speed hurts though. And then just get it back. Sweet. So it's all about learning the right times to play aggressive and what time to back up. Sweet. Perfect timing. I know bot. So behind 3 CS now. Not bad. Okay. Uh, oh my god. That was a good teleport back. I don't know what you're doing. Too much CS for me to miss that. Like... Tower. Run this way. Oh, hello, friend. Got my potions. Oh god, got a flash. Whoa! Good baited. Pop my potions on my self heal. Killed him with the team at. <laughs> Look at that. Calculated. Damn. That was pretty fantastic if I do say so myself. Mm. Yeah. Rise could just come behind us. I'm gonna back. Oh, we see Rise. Okay. I also, uh, if you're taking a look at my roots, I took Tenacity because of Rise and Maokai. Not a fun combo. Nice. Got red buff. Wait. So, gotta play a little passively sometimes, but we good, we good. Okay, let's see Shaco. See Quinn. Drop hard hold in, so I'm just gonna shove this in group. Start heading in. Cosmic guys. Well, at least he's gonna trade if nothing else. Nope, we don't wanna be there. One for one, it's not awful. I'm gonna push this wave in. Excuse me. Gonna grab that scuttle crowd, get some bonus EXP. my stun there to the very end so it gave Lucian less time to dodge it when it went off so if you don't know the way dashes work in this game is it always goes off your initial positioning until the dash is actually complete Titanic and start working towards my Trinity. So now I'm pretty good and tanky. And I'm gonna wait 15 gold here. 
So, like I said, this just gives you a whole lot of sustain against a, a bad matchup. I know I was actually playing uh, gearing into Jax. They had first picked it on my, my other account, and the Jax did this, and it went pretty well. So Infernal Drake, you definitely want to group for that. I wanted to jump stun there, but I was stuck. Okay. There you go, perfect. Well, luckily, because my ult is so strong, I'm eating the bulk of that damage, but I'm getting a lot of resistances, so it works out. You know what? Oh god. Eh. Thank you. Not too shabby. So yeah, during the late game, your Q just becomes too short of a cooldown for a kickback. So you can kind of go in and out of those bigger trades right there and come out much farther ahead. I'm going to back. I don't have enough help. Grab this. Grab this. Top is pushing. Just gonna go mid for now and help them pressure. I got a decent amount of time. I can grab Rift Scuttle. Because this is gonna push because it pushed the tower. Our reinforcements got here first. Now look at how many minions there are versus this many. So that's how we know it's pushing. Same with bot lane. That's gonna start getting reinforcements and then it has to make its way. Wow. Get out of the um the Maokai CC. That's gonna teleport back in. They're all gone. Okay, power no, okay. There you go, cool. Good job. So gonna head bot lane. Ooh, with this. Ready for okay, rise is super fed. Note to self. Still have to get my Trinity, but oh god, oh god. Good shit. Start getting run. Might all be dead anyways. I was gonna head back to tower. They're fine. Cool. Push this tower in. Distance. 
Yeah, damage isn't my problem this game, it's utility, so that's why I said I went Q then E. Like I said, something to think about. Oh. Whoopsies! Alright, can get my Sheen, not my Sheen, my uh, Stinger. No, I think I'd rather have Sheen. So I'm gonna go like this. I'm definitely gonna weigh 50 gold. Yeah. That'll put me super close. Yeah, because then I can just make my way towards Dragonfly. The next item, I mean, I could go Sterix. That's going to help against any of the burst damage. Probably realistically want some magic resistance. Um, in which case, I may just build the Spectre's Powell and wait to turn it into a Adaptive Helm. Because um, Ryze hits a lot of the same kind of spells. And I like the health regain uh, Helm. Not really a big Spirit Visage guy, unless we have like a Soraka on the team or it's a Gunblade kind of game. I'm just gonna shove this. And then I can steal red buff real quick. I do really like the feeling of um, Titanic first. Well, there's a big knight. I mean, I'll take it. Wait for me. Good job. Not the cannon. Got it, yeah. Start leveling my Q, get that damage in. Wait. I have teleport. I might actually build a QSS. Get me out of uh, the Maokai and Rise snare. I actually think that's going to be super useful. That's the route I might go. So I need 13, I need 16.33 in order to get it. Give me some magic resist too. Yeah, I said 1300. I'm like 200 shy. Damn, three of them. I I thought I lost a vision of him right here. I was gonna jump stun him. Unfortunate. That's okay though. Not a big deal. Ideally, all four of them would have been ready to rush Baron because Maokai, Quid, and Rise were bot lane. That would have been a perfect time to do Baron, but. I really want QSS. You know what? Let me do this. Cool. Uh, what, 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 what? Oh, they're already dead anyway. Silver's just gonna push. Probably wasted my TP there, but. I'm gonna just shove this real quick. Let Silver get more pressure. Good job. Good stuff. Good job. Nice.
think we could do this. We don't know where Maokai is. If I knew where Maokai was, this will allow Kha'Zix to get pressure mid. Zivra's super fed, so I just want to stick by her right now. Take it. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go Sterix. What I see about Sterix too is it gives me the tenacity increase. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that, but the lifeline is actually 30% increased tenacity, and I already have the 27.5 tenacity from oh 30. I'm sorry, 30% tenacity from my runes. He did like straightforward stun me until the very end, which really surprised me. I was looking for using my uh. QSS, but so now that we got an inhibitor, we can force Baron. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Baron push an end. That's what we want to do. It's a magic resist. Oh my god, he's doing like true damage to me. I don't know what they did there. We need to get rid of this prize. Finish my stairs, then I need some sort of magic resist. Rise is huge. God, well, we got super minions. If he doesn't die, this is fine. Ooh, run, Bard, run! This is so good for us. 1600. Damn. Oh. Rough one. I still say rise. Okay, Quinn actually did a lot of damage to me that time. This is going to be a tough one to end out. The rise is so strong. We do just need to focus it down. Our talent's kind of useless, which sucks, but luckily we have Kha'Zix. I need to head top lane and clear this giant wave out. 
Nope, she's gonna get it. I'd like my sterics. What are you doing? Cancel. Oh god, I'm at to cancel. Super fast. Okay. An ally has been slain. Oh God. I feel does so much damage. Just disgusting. trying to save everybody. Heal. Heal. Boots. I had my teleport. Definitely getting magic resist. Oh, holy moly. I can't believe we saved that. Well, we got. Oh, Rise actually had sold it, so that's fine. Wind's bare enough. Uh, We got an inhibitor too, which is really good. Alright. I need 1200 gold for Spirit Vistage. Oh. Well, Mopkai got rocked in lane. He is proving quite the team fighting menace because all of his CC. Ah, dang. Let's go! What are you doing? I think I can hold. That was unfortunate. Well, I still think that showed you guys how to land pretty well against the Quinn, so I don't normally like uploading losses, but I do it anyways. Like I said, I think we played the laning phase really, really well, so there's still some good stuff in there. I think the problem was is people just kept getting caught. I went on the rise and I don't know how they all died. Like, what the hell? So, I still think it is a good matchup video. This town was absolutely terrible, though. That was quite unfortunate. Quite unfortunate indeed. Yikes. Ah. <sighs>
Yeah, and then Quinn just kept... I mean, that's what Quinn's job is, to pick people. I don't know if I should have just split push instead. Um, but, yeah, Kha'Zix accomplished a whole lot of nothing. That's different damage, though. Well, I hope you guys liked that one. Uh, like I said, it gives you kind of an idea on how to play from behind on a, on a bad lane-up matchup like Quinn. So I hope you guys liked that one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good jazz. I'll catch you next time. Peace.